Good morning, guys. I'm making my coffee right now. Hold on. In my cabinet, let's find the place. I'm kind of running late because I had a really hard time falling asleep. And I think it's because you know how, like, the first day of school when you're younger. That's how I feel. I'm still a child, but like, it's just really hard for me to like settle down and like relax knowing the day ahead. My almond milk to actual coffee ratio this morning is no ratio. It's literally just coffee and like the smallest amount of almond milk that would fit in the cup. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. A straw. Okay, I'm here. Parking is so good because I forgot that on Mondays, there's not a lot of people that are taking classes, so there's not a lot of traffic, which is, we love that because I don't have Tuesday, Thursday classes this semester. I just have a class on Tuesday. But anyway, I if you're new here, I never did this in the beginning, but if you're new here, my name is Allison and I am a junior at the University of North Texas, majoring in fashion merchandising, and today I start my spring semester and I'm honestly really excited. Like I am such a nerd and I love learning and I love a new semester, so here I am excited i'm probably the only one excited but that's okay i'm wearing my um blue light glasses from key the brand key today i'll have them linked down below i absolutely love these because i don't get a headache from staring at the computer and then i just wear my contacts with them so big fan of that and then i just did like really minimal makeup because you know that's that's the vibe they should be lucky I even put on makeup today. I'm about to leave and start walking. My class is like not that far from here, but probably like a 10 to 12 minute walk. And then my class starts at nine. And like I mentioned, it's a visual merchandising and promotion class. And then I only have that one twice a week. So I'll have that today. And then I'll have that again on Wednesday morning. And yeah, my other classes don't start till like three o'clock. So I will talk to you guys in between then. Well, that was extremely short-lived because I got to the class and I was waiting outside the room because the room was dark. It was like black and a bunch of us that were in the classes, a lot of um, other people in my major, like you start recognizing people because you just do, you're in the same classes. So a bunch of them are standing outside the door and then we, get an, we all get an email 10 minutes before the class starts. Not even 10 minutes, but that the class is canceled so here i am but that's okay i have it again on wednesday i think the professor is traveling right now so it's not that big of a deal i've had her before but i just went ahead and moved up everything in my google calendar so i'll just have more time to do stuff today which is good because i didn't think i was going to be able to work out today so i just moved up all of my stuff and now I have more time until my next class at three because it's nine right now. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some groceries because I literally have none. And I wrote a list out last night of everything I need. 
So I'm gonna do that and then I booked a class. I'm gonna do like a hot buns class at Hotworks at 10.30, so I definitely have time. We're good, now we have more time to do things and it's not a big deal, you know? We'll just make the most of it and get some stuff done. So I'm gonna go to Sprouts now and get some groceries and just get on with our day. It's pretty cold outside and it's like sprinkling rain, which that always happens to me on campus. I'll never understand why the days I come to campus, it rains and then the days that I'm like, I don't have class, it's like sunny and it happens every semester. Okay, so I just got home from Sprouts and I thought I would show you guys what I got. And I need to get little plastic things for these before you say anything. I know it made me just as sad to grab the plastic bag, but I didn't know what to do because there's so many of them. But I'm going to order those little bags on Amazon today. Mark my words. But anyway, I got some almond milk. This is the almond milk that I get. I added my coffees and oatmeal, that kind of thing. And then I got this Primal Kitchen Barbecue Ranch. This is like you can use it as like a sauce when you're cooking. Or you can always um, use it as a marinade too. But me and my friend Amanda really like this stuff when we cook together. So I'm super excited to use it you know it's really good and then brussels sprouts and then i got baby arugula and baby spinach i use this a lot for all different things i got some zucchinis and onion some tomatoes i like dipping these in hummus but i also like cooking with these they're really good and then i got four avocados some like bean chips these are pico de gallo flavor but they're made out of like beans which i like because i just feel like it's easier for my body to break down i got some ezekiel bread some baby to baby potatoes these are like little red potatoes and then i got some cumin and paprika for something i'm gonna make stay tuned for that because i'm sure i'll vlog it and then I got these little spicy guacamole thingies for when I go to work. They're just like easier to like take places, I guess you could say. And that's all of it. This should cover me for the week. Obviously, I have like meats and that kind of thing like in my fridge that I didn't have to get this week. But that really varies depending on the week. But anyway, I'm going to put all this away and then I need to get dressed because I'm going to my workout class and it starts in 30 minutes, but I need to leave here in 15 minutes. Okay, so I just changed. I have on this sports bra and then my Lululemon aligns and then you do a barefoot. So I don't really like care a lot about the shoes, but I just have my Adidas Ultra Boost, I think. No, Adidas NMDs. And, and then I just pull my hair up because I don't want it to get all gross. But honestly, not my most fashionable look, but it works, especially when you sweat because I'm going to be in like 130 degrees when I'm working out, which I really like. But also, like, I'll take off my jacket and just be in my sports bra and my leggings. But anyway, I'm going to leave for my workout now. I'm bringing like a couple packages with me because I have to drop those off for um, like Poshmark orders. And then I will be headed to my workout. I'm very excited. It's very gloomy outside today, but I don't mind. It's been a very productive day and it's only 10 a.m. So. I just pulled up to my class. I'm about to go in and take it. But I would just like to say it is so weird how like days where it's so overcast and we're all supposed to like be like sad and like just like not have a lot of energy. Like it really says a lot and it speaks a lot. Like when you're still able to like move through it and have just as good of a day because me personally, the sun really affects me mentally and like my energy levels. And it just goes to show that like when you're giving yourself 
like the things that it needs to like thrive and like your focusing on like your mental state that the weather doesn't really matter and it's just an excuse to like stay the way you are so I don't know if that made any sense but I was thinking about that on my drive here and I just feel really good mentally and that makes me so happy so anyway I'm gonna go into my class now I'm gonna kill it and then I'll see you when I'm super sweaty So my hair is a mess but I just finished my class super sweaty it was such a good workout and now I need to drop off my Poshmark packages and then I'm gonna head home and eat something because it's like 11 15 right now I haven't eaten yet today I've just been like not that hungry and I knew after I worked out I would be starving so that is in fact the case so I'm gonna go drop that off and then I'm gonna head home make something for breakfast and then I have my next class at three so i definitely ha still have like some time but i like how the flow of the day is going for sure i'm not like overwhelmed or stressed but i've like been able to get a lot done which is really nice so So, I'm currently, my hair is a mess. I've been on hold with like passwords, like people for like my passwords and stuff for my accounting class because I'm taking my accounting class through a um, community college so it'll be easier, but it's just online, but I was trying to figure out my password, but it turns out the class doesn't even start till next week. So I have time, but my password's reset and everything. That took like an hour to figure out, but like we're good. And now I'm ordering my textbooks. I usually get my textbooks from the UNT Barnes & Noble. And then I just usually get it shipped to me. Or you can also pick it up. So I might actually just pick them up since I'm going to be on campus. And um, yeah, but honestly, I like actually kind of need a lot. So that's great. For my marketing class, I have to buy the book and then buy this separate like code and so that's great and the code is $85 just for a code so love that um and they're not letting me rent any of these I have to buy them so that's great I'm gonna look on Amazon because usually Amazon will have like rental options when the Barnes and Noble doesn't but I always check this first because it's just easier but oh there we go so they have that one. This I always just rent use. Who cares, you know? Um and they don't really like digital. It's so much cheaper though. Shit. I don't wanna do that though. I want the actual book. I guess I'll just rent the book then. And then this one I'll rent. Okay, so they have all of mine to rent except one, so I'm going to check and see if I can find this book on Amazon rentals first before I have to buy the whole book because like, I'm never going to use this again probably, so stay tuned. Honestly, like ordering, I'm, guys, I literally am so tall that like nothing props. There we go. So I honestly just like textbooks, ugh. But I feel like I do so much better in my classes when I actually buy them because I've had friends that like don't buy the textbook and then like they always need yours or like it's just like way harder to like get a good grade because you're like searching for like stuff online. Wow, my hair. You're just like searching for random stuff online and I just, I'm, it's not worth my stress. I'd rather just like rent the textbook, you know? So that's what's going on. It's like one o'clock right now. And I have to leave here probably by like 2.15 to make my 3 o'clock class. Just so I, I like to give myself extra time because I don't want it to be stressful. So, Marlo. She's been meowing a lot lately. I think she needs a sibling. Okay, update. I've come to the conclusion that I'm not getting any of them yet until I actually go to the classes because... 
this is so expensive like i haven't had a semester yet that's like this expensive with books and knowing my past semesters i have gotten the book and never used it so i'm gonna wait and you know i'm just gonna wait <laughs> So I'm back at campus for the second time today and it's 2.40 right now. I'm about to walk towards where my class is, but I parked on the other side of campus this time because my last class ends at 9.30 and I know it's going to be dark and that just like really freaks me out. So I parked right by where my last class is so that I can get to my car like very fast. So very proud of that. Um, you can see the frat houses in the background. You know this is the kind of content that i didn't sign up for and you didn't sign up for so now i'm gonna walk to class and yeah <laughs> going to my last class of the day I'm almost done thank god I just ate at Chipotle the lighting is so bad 